What is up, y'all? It's your girl, brand new, and honey, I am back in the building. Listen, listen, I just finished up Love and Marriage DC. The reunion was off the hook. Ashley looked pretty. I, I got to give Ashley that, and I liked her uh hair and her dress. She was pretty. Winter looked good. Everybody looked nice. Irena, though, was that girl. Okay, Miss Virgo, honey, I got me a Virgo. My daughter is a Virgo. I love Virgo people. Listen, I like I love me some Virgos. I think one of my first loves was a Virgo, honey. But yes, Irena, honey, shut it down. Did y'all see how Clifton was coming at quick? I was like, yes, yes, get him, get him. Did y'all notice how quick tried to boss up on Clifton once Clifton got all the way away? away from him like he was so far away from him because when Clifton was in earshot of um quick quick wasn't talking like that he told Clifton to go on and walk with the security guard quick you a punk stop trying to prove yourself then he kept trying to um compare his network to Clifton see everything about uh quick's ego is synonymous with money with you know superficial materialistic things his house his cars his clothes like child see you need to be building your damn character quick and you wouldn't have to uh run and try to throw those things in people's faces okay do some self-development okay Nick, <laughs> get yourself together. But yeah, I don't think you want it with, with Clifton, honey. Okay, yes, big Clifton. But anyways, honey, um, and Ashley, you did not pitch, um, what's Joy and Clifton to be on the show? I don't believe that you... To me, you are in some type of competition with Joy over Irena's friendship. You unhappy in your marriage. Sad case, Ashley. Sad case. You need help. You need help. Um, but yeah, the Petties, honey, they they was ready. They were they was ready, honey. Joy got Ashley's ass together. If you apologize. And it, and you don't, and, uh, it's not genuine. Why would I forgive you? <laughs> You're not really remorseful. I was like, get her, get her. She ain't making no sense, honey. Okay. But yeah, this was, this was good. I said, something don't look right, honey. Miss Robson got to get to the bottom of this, but yeah. It was a mess. But let's get to Love and Marriage Huntsville. Okay, so I was reading this article from the Urban uh, Bell blog. Shout out uh, to Urban Bell, honey. And it says, Melody Cherie's manager seemingly threw shade at Stormy Steele and Destiny Payton. Stormy Steele also doesn't appear to be in the best place with Melody. Absolutely. You know, she she a hating ass bitch too, you know. She she be trying to keep up with me and I be like, girl, you you can't keep up with me, boo boo. Boo boo oatmeal pie face. You better go on and get a lottery ticket with, with Miss Destiny. Okay, go on and sell them tickets. Okay, uh Destiny, let me let me play uh Seven fifty six fifty fifty box. Yes, a uh, destiny girl. You the lottery girl. <laughs> that is so mean, Mel. Like that. Don't come at destiny like that. Like, like you may be in a position one day where you gotta sell a lottery ticket or two. You know, <laughs> not the lottery tickets, honey. But, um, but yeah, Destiny signed Miss Robinson up for 756. That's the most popular number, honey. My mama used to play, uh, 756, 50, 50. Okay. Uh, my mama used to send me to the store, honey. Uh, the lady, 
Shout out to Cookie. She was uh, a white lady. And I used to play with her daughter, Martina. Shout out to them. Martina's biracial. She didn't have her a little girl, honey, like Miss Robinson did. But yeah, honey, uh, my mama used to be like, tell Cookie, Cookie working. Yeah, I believe Cookie working. Yeah. Tell her I want to play my numbers. Sending the damn kids to play numbers and stuff. Okay, and see if you could try to get a carton of uh, cigarettes. Yeah, um, cool, mild, regular. <laughs> I remember them cigarettes. I, I used to be like, why my mama won't get off her ass and just get her own stuff and leave me the hell alone? Okay, but let me get back. Let me get back. So it says, during the last season, Stormy's mother, Betty Steele, attempted to explain why she doesn't like Melody. She eventually admitted she disliked Melody before even meeting her based on what she saw happen on the show. Stormy says she didn't agree with Betty, but she couldn't control her actions. Now, isn't that familiar? Where did we hear that from? Candy Burris couldn't control her mother, didn't want to hold her accountable, allow her to act the fool and, and talk about her man we saw that with Latifa Scott she let Miss Wanda act a fool act crazy okay and never held her accountable and responsible for her actions Okay, so these days Stormy and Destiny are very friendly and some fans think both have may have clashed with Melody while filming the upcoming episodes. This is due to recent posts from both and Melody's manager. Things kicked off after Stormy posted a message on Instagram. On a Instagram story, she wrote, Random, but I'm waiting on at the Destiny Payton to come through with the Big D energy. Bad bitch season is loading. Destiny responded, say less. Stormy ended it with less was said. Understood. And then there's some type of emoji, honey. Melody's manager, Dawn, seemingly threw shade at both on the Instagram story. It's been less. Oh, child. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to throw shade if I can't get paid. Oh. <laughs> that is funny honey that is funny let's see what the people is think about all of this so one person says i am not interested in watching them pick at melody everyone isn't going to like each other and that's fine but the way these people always pick at melody is so tired and boring they need to focus on themselves and their businesses i know that's right honey now the person says the show has run its course and i will not be tuning in Another person says, nobody wants to watch another season of Take Down Melody. Hopefully, Nail has her back against Dusty Destiny and Stale Stormy. Not Stale Stormy. I guess that's better than Stormy Steel. S-T-E-A-L. <laughs> that was a good one. I'll put that with the surround sound, Simone, honey. That was another good one. They was, they was shading Simone Whitmore, honey, up married to the medicine, honey. Ooh, child, y'all so shady, but Miss Robinson is here for it. Okay. Oh, another person says, why bring Destiny, Destiny back? Ooh, child. <laughs> the show is dead and she is not going to revive it. Ooh, child. <laughs> Destiny said, honey, I got five on it. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, child. Okay, so the next big thing that the people is talking about is um Marceau. He ends up um offending Melody and he tells Melody that she chose Martel to have three kids with, excluding Sugar Mama. What do y'all think of that? That is crazy. He need to stay up out her business. Okay, whatever she choose to do with her husband at that time, that's what she chose to do. He don't even claim the three kids he got with Latifa. And he barely be wanting to watch and play and and spend time with his own kids. So why is he even like all up in Melody business? I told y'all that damn Marceau is obsessed with Miss Melody Cherie. Absolutely. Absolutely, that that man, he is so obsessed with me. 
He need to be worried about his wife. But yeah, quiet as kept. He would love for me to sit on his face. He would love it. Every little minute of it. He would love it. So let's see what the people are saying. So one person says, Marceau chose to have three kids with Latifa, and he didn't know which child was allergic to peanuts. Now the person says, Marceau is dumb. He gets his confidence by belittling others. Yeah, that, that goes, you know, that goes to show you that He's in the business of tearing women down. He has also referred to Mel as being divorced. She's she's a single mom. Your woman is over there, a married single mom. Okay. And and Marceau knows that he gives uh, Latifa her identity. Her identity is tied into her being married to him. And you see how he treats her, kicks her out of her office, gives it to somebody else, some man. Okay, couldn't get up to say a few kind words to her or about her when they were out in Vegas. Didn't want to renew his vows with her in front of all their friends and family. Um, Well, I'll say all their friends, you know, like the man went to Africa the first time without her. Okay, said he needed time and and space. And and it's just like, you are a married man. Can you think of your wife and children first? But no, he's very selfish. But um, Tisha is very complicit with that type of behavior. You know, she feels like Marceau is the prize. She is lucky to have a man like Marceau. So, ciao. Just a whole mess, a whole, a whole fool. Another person says Marceau should be ashamed as a man and as a father. The check is so good. He is allowing himself to be a puppet on national TV. A self-respecting man will never associate with him. Who was the one who agreed with and had Martel's apologies to his son when Martel started the rumor he was with 20 plus women? Yeah, I remember Martel apologized to his son. Even worse, you're sparring with women. I told y'all the niggas these days are very feminine. They are very feminine. They That's why you got so many men that get into relationships and marriages with women and try to compete with them. Don't no man, no real man behave like that. A real man would uplift you, ladies. Um, he wants you to feel good about yourself. He wants you to be confident. He wants you to grow and really rise up. You know, and become the very best version of yourself. He's not going to tear you down and try to put you in lowest terms. That's what a lot of these men try to do just to deal with you. Okay, they have to do that because they feel so bad about themselves. And Marceau, you know, he has low self-esteem. I could tell he's very insecure, He likes being with Tisha. That way he could feel like the big strong man and he can make all the decisions. He could never deal with a woman like Melody. That's why he felt like, well, Martell is within his right for cheating on Melody. You know, that's his way of putting her in her place. Now, did he ever come out and say that? No, but the actions, behavior reflects intentions. He was actually out with Martell while hanging out with Ariane. While Martell and Ariane were hanging out, he was there. And so was his brother, the Lyora. <laughs> The lawyer, honey, he was out there too. And that's why a lot of men, you know, they they don't feel bad when your man cheats on you because it's just like, well, you, you've you been nagging him. Yeah, well, you you expect too much out of him. So he, he just being a man, he just doing what he had to do. They really do um, co-sign that bad behavior. They feel like you deserve that type of behavior. Yeah, because you too strong and, you know, you know, they got to put you in your place. You're too empowered. So what do they do? They have to disempower you. They have to make you question and doubt yourself. 
Oh, and you're single. You don't have a man. You don't have any worth. You're not worth anything. Nobody wants you. Okay. We will create that narrative. And, and that way you can believe that that way you don't feel good about yourself. Okay. So yeah, just Marceau is disgusting. And I hope Courtney handles his ass. Okay. So another person says, why does Marceau think that it's his place to speak to Mel about her personal business? Since when have they sat down and talked like that recently? Mel needs to tell him to kick rocks. He didn't want Tisha asking Chris and Nell about their infidelities in their marriage. Exactly. And you, you, you want to know why? Cause he don't want to talk about what he didn't did throughout the years to Latifa, and she don't really want to deal with it. Cause she ain't about that life and she ain't going nowhere. Okay. Why does he feel free to speak to Mel about her personal business? Plus Stormy revealed last season that the place he and his male friends visited in Colombia, South America is known for legal prostitution. He went there on his anniversary and left Tisha at home. According to Tisha, Tisha tried to say she was out with friends and she didn't really care. And yeah, just because Tisha chose to stay with him, doesn't make their marriage any more noble. Plus Tisha was, has been reported to have been pregnant before marriage. Marceau, sit down and keep your bottom row jaw jacker closed. Not the bottom row jaw jacker. <laughs> and on that note, honey, Miss Robinson is up out of here. Don't forget guys to like, comment, and subscribe. I am your girl brand new and I will check you guys out in the next video.